So I went for a ride uh, late one afternoon um, recently to test out the new camera mounts for the bike to do some riding videos. And on the way home, it was um, early evening, kind of dusk time, magic hour. Uh, so I wanted to use my headlights because I was riding in the trees and it was uh, fairly dark on those country lanes. And I found they didn't work, which wasn't helpful, especially with oncoming traffic. So I'm going to find out why they've stopped working. Right, so the only uh, light I had was the brake light. So I know that the, one of these filaments is good. I've got my new uh, Parkside pen multimeter. I fitted a crocodile clip on the end of it. So it's one set to continuity. It looks like the filament in that bulb is good, so it looks like it's the feed, you know, the power feed coming to the bulb is the issue. Let's test the headlamp bulb, as this is the uh, early 6 volt style headlight, even though it's a 12 volt bulb, it's only single filament. So that on there. Yep, yeah, that bulb's good as well. Right, let's try the same thing with the pilot light. There's a little pilot light bulb. Yep, yeah, that's working okay. So I expect the issue is with this lighting switch here. This is an aftermarket one, uh, but it's wired exactly the same as the factory ones. Uh, the yellow power feed for the lighting circuit and the horn comes up from the magnetic generator down there, goes into the back of the horn, and then another yellow wire goes up to the switch for your lights. The horn works because uh, there's power going to it, and the only thing it gets from the switch is a ground connection. It doesn't actually get power from the switch because the power going directly to the back of the horn, it just gets its ground connection to make the circuit and make the horn work. So I need to check this power going to the, the light switch and find out why it's not then sending it to the head and tail light. So these are the connections on the back of the headlight switch. That one there is the feed up from the back of the horn. That one then is the switch feed to the pilot light, and that's the switch feed for the headlight. And that there's the ground return for the horn, and then the kill switch earth connection there. And pretty much both of those, when pressed, ground to the, the case of the switch, which then grounds to the handlebars. So what I'm gonna do is test from there back to the horn, and test from there to the actual connections on the headlight for both of those bulbs. Right, pilot light first. It's got a connection, headlamp, it's got a connection. Right. Power up from the horn, mm. no connection. So what I've done is I've removed all the insulation tape off the wiring loom up to the switch to check for any breaks and it's fine. And I know there was a joint further down here that I had to solder, but piece of heat shrink on. And when I fitted this aftermarket switch, because there is no kind of multi-plug to, to take this off of the loom on a Thomas mode bed, it's all hardwired and soldered directly to the switch. Um, as it turned out, that joint was fine. The problem was actually here on this spade connector. The feed up to the light switch had snapped, but it was hidden because it was inside that piece of heat shrink, so I couldn't see it. So just got to put a new spade connector on. So I fitted a new crimp connector, spade one. It's uninsulated because the insulate ones won't fit in the back of the horn, but I have added some heat shrink to protect it a bit better. Let's test it for continuity. Back to the light switch. Down there. It's just still set to continuity. Yep, yeah. let's see that's fixed it. Okay, what about the other round? Test it out. Pilot lights on. Main beams up. And tail light. Right, that's all done now. Quite happy with that. Something to like to point out though, if you've got an early A3 with this type of head headlight assembly, that's the single filament bulb, not the twin filament like on the later A3s, uh, is that this is chrome plated plastic. It also serves as the ground connection for the headlamp bulb. There's not a separate connection on the bulb holder itself. So it's done it through a kind of contact there inside the bulb. And if you haven't got that screen on tight, um, it makes a very bad connection and the headlamp doesn't work, but the pilot bulb does. Uh, also another thing, these aftermarket switches, there's no insulation on the underside of that horn switch there. 
So when the lights are off, you activate the horn, it works fine. When it's on, when you press it, it actually makes contact with the brass pivot of the headlight switch. On the underside of that brass pivot is the actual the terminal for the pilot light. So when you press the horn, the light's on, it lights dim, and the horn doesn't work. So what we're going to do is put a piece of insulation tape underneath that kind of contact in there to separate the, the two, and it will work fine. So thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, take care, I'll see you again soon.